But I'm about to get my ultralight fishing on. I'm gonna be using my B&B Custom Outdoors uh, six foot ultralight rod, two pound line, probably like a little trout magnet or jig head, 164 ounce. Um, I love picking this up for fishing for fun. Of course, that's why I fish for fun. And it makes it even more fun. I'm going for crappie slash any other fish I can catch. Um, I'm going to a spot that's usually a good crappie hole, but here recently it hasn't been very good. So we're about to try it out. Well, the water's a little choppy, which is fine, but it's kind of windy. And if you fish with ultralight stuff, you know it's kind of hard to cast and feel bites when it's windy. The wind really blows your lure. So um, there's been a bunch of people fishing here, a bunch of bobbers stuck over there on some brush. So we're gonna give it a try anyways. There's a fish. Here we go. Oh, a little tiny crappie. All right, at least I got something. I had to switch. I had to put a bobber on there. I don't usually fish with a bobber on it, but since the wind is just, he's just blowing me away, so I can't really control the, the depth on it. So I stuck a little uh, bobber on there. That way, at least when it blows, it's, it's still sinking down and drifting. Now, there's our first baby crappie there. Two. <laughs> These guys are tiny. That's what I've. Oh man, that's even smaller. I've heard that there's some small ones up here. And um, man, they're right. These guys are little. They're not even taking my bobber under. All I know is my bobber just stops going. And I'm like, well, let me pull it up, see if anything's on there, and there'll be a little. Man, that guy is little. tons of these if I could just drift it over slowly but I, I can't really slow it down not without going with the heavier jig head and stuff and I like I like using these little light ones because it really just lets them fish get it really easy oh fish on what is that? Oh, it's a, is that a golden shiner? Yeah, I think that's a golden shiner. I think I've caught one of those before. Huh, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I should keep him. I might throw him in the bucket. Got him. All right, that one took it all the way under. Oh, sweet. That's what I missed, because I could tell. That's a warmouth. Chris was just telling me he caught a big one up here the other day. He got fish with all the time. Warmouth are cool fish. It's kind of random when I catch them. They got a big old mouth. They kind of look like a rock bass body. And they also have a little red patch like a red ear does. So they're, they're just a they're fun, fun, neat little fish to eat anything. All right, if you can see this, I'll show this, but I think I'm comfortable telling people what knot I use now, because I used to always use the improved uh, clinch knot or cinch knot, whatever it's called. And that's what I saw that when I was a kid watching like um, fishing shows on TV. And I, as I use that forever, I've switched about six months ago to the uni knot. And uh, you make a loop and you go through, I do five times through it. And I kind of cinch it up, not all the way tight, just kind of get it ready. And then I go ahead and pull it down and then cinch it on up down here at the bottom. And what you don't have to worry about is burning the rope. On this two pound line, it's easy to burn it or to make it weak where it snaps off. But if you do it like that, there's no problem with the knot. It's strong, it holds. And I've been using the uni knot for everything. It's, it's real easy to do, it just kind of, you know, Learn, do it a few times, simple. I can use it on ultralight stuff, I can use it on heavy stuff, and I do a lot of ultralight fishing, so I really wanted to find a good knot, and I'm, I'm happy with that knot. Got one. Okay, I guess I'm gonna leave these little guys alone. Try to go on the other side. There's a, 
bunch of them in there though. Oh, I got one. What do I got? Another tiny one. They followed me. Followed me over here. I didn't know he was on there. Maybe I have to make my line a little shorter. I guess I shouldn't be disappointed in catching fish. I really just want to catch one decent crappie. And these guys are, I would love to have this like a fish tank though. But you can't, you're not supposed to be able to keep them, but these are cool how they just little though. There's one. Oh, it feels a little bit bigger. Oh, it's a bluegill. That's a pretty bluegill, a little pink looking. So that's my first fish on the lure change. Ouch. Still using the same little small jig head, but pretty, pretty looking bluegill right there. All right, that might do it. Mm, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this golden shiner back in there. All right. All right, I'm gonna hit one more spot for a head home. It looks calmer over here. At least the wind looks calmer anyways. We'll try this out. Oh, where's fish? Oh, where's the crappie? Okay. Still small, but it's the first one I found at this place. I was throwing around the regular trap magnet, but I don't have any bright colored ones, so I went back to the little panfish assassin. There's one crappie right there. Is that a fish? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, I think. So it feels so big on this uh, pole, but I think that's a good crappie. Yeah, it is. Oh, nice. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's what I'm looking for right there. That's a good crappie. He's probably 11 inches long. Big old body on it. It's right off the bank. I'm glad the wind's died down the way I can, I can cast this out and kind of Twitch it and reel it in slow. I, I get a lot more control over it other than using a, rather than using a bobber. You can just feel everything. That's the solid crappie. Maybe we can get a couple more of those. Yeah, there's one. It's amazing how sensitive you can feel. It's the littlest tap. That little crappie. The littlest tap of these fish and you still have to fight them in no matter what size it is you have to like play them in oh wow <laughs> that is crazy i set the hook and jerked it out of the water if i can jerk it out of the water on this two pound line that's a little one what is up with these tiny crappie All right, that may be the littlest one today. All right, hope he gets to eating a little more. There he is. There we go, that may be the last one today. Oh, he's fighting, what is this? Is that a bass? Hey, a little large mouth. All right, that just tops it off. That'll be a good end of the video. This little largemouth just fighting like crazy. I was hoping to catch one like strong fish and just have to play it in because it's, it's awesome when they're just, you know, pulling off. If I caught a white bass, something like that, it'd be really fun to pull it in. But it's hard to go wrong with fishing with ultralight if you're just fishing for fun. And that's what I like doing, fishing for fun. Little largemouth. All right, so I guess this video is just kind of a reminder. Don't forget about ultralight fishing 
and even down to the two pound line. I know some people use an ultralight rod and they put like six pound line on it. I'm like, yeah, that's okay. Four pound line is awesome. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Two pound line is even more fun. Now, some people are gonna go, oh, two pound line is so extreme. I mean, it's not that extreme. You can really catch a lot of fish on two pound line. I think Trout Magnet Man uh, uses it all the time, but the Trout Magnet two pound line is, is really good line. It's pretty tough, actually. I know some of y'all really aren't into catching smaller fish or ultralight fishing, but if I, if I really just wanna go out and catch fish, this is the kind of setup I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna get all kinds of different fish, and I can catch some eatable fish, too. And if you're in the market for a nice custom rod, b, &B Custom Outdoors, I'll put their info below. Um, I really like this rod. It's, it's so fun to catch fish on it. It makes everything more enjoyable. And you can always get you a cheap rod and reel. I got a bunch of ones that are 10, 12, 12, 10 to 15 dollar uh, rods, you know, 20 dollar reels, and they catch fish just as good as the high end ones. Now it's, it's not as comfortable. The high, higher end stuff is a lot nicer, especially the more I fish, I fish a lot. So I like using, the, I'm starting to use nicer and nicer things because I do it so much. But you can, you can get all kinds of cheap stuff, some cheap fishing line. Go down, just use some little lures and just have a blast. Thanks for watching.